After the guitar is built and sanded, the work has only just begun. The focus of this video is to show my finishing process and the final steps of the fretwork. The guitar gets wiped down with shellite and checked carefully for any visible sanding scratches. Now is the time to fix it. Once I'm happy, I mask off the fretboard, nut, and anywhere else I don't want finish. A handle is attached so I can manipulate the guitar while spraying. In order to create a barrier between the wood and the pore filler, one coat of well-thinned sealer is sprayed. I use epoxy to fill the pores. This Zebrano top had large pores, so it took three coats, scraping and sanding in between until they were completely filled. The last coat gets sanded all the way back to bare wood, leaving the filler only in the pores. Once the pores are filled, a few coats of sealer are sprayed and then sanded mostly flat. I carefully mask around the edge to create a binding effect after the color is sprayed. The edges of the recesses are masked off so they can be blacked out. First the blue is sprayed, building up the color in multiple passes. Then a subtle burst goes around the edge. After spraying a few coats of clear, the headstock is sanded and polished so the logo decal can be applied. Clear coats are then sprayed on the top and on the headstock, burying the logo. Satin clear is sprayed on the sides, back, and neck. The satin gets sanded with 800 grit to remove most of the texture. One final well-thinned flow coat of satin is sprayed on to melt out the 800 grit sanding scratches. Finish is sanded from the top corner of the fretboard using sandpaper on the fret end beveling file. This will prevent damaging the finish when removing the tape. After the tape comes off, the fretboard and nut slot are cleaned up. Fret ends are softened using a file and rolled up sandpaper. The fretboard is masked off and I draw over the tops of the frets to see where the fret leveling beam is hitting. The frets are leveled down until all of the low spots are reached. Once level, I remark the tops of the frets and go over with a rounded crowning file, being careful not to bring down the height of the fret. The frets are then sanded and buffed. Now it's time to rub out the gloss. First, all the orange peel texture from spraying needs to be sanded flat with 1500 or 2000 grit. I then wet sand with 3000, 5000 and 8000 Trizac, which makes the buffing go a lot quicker. After buffing, the guitar gets assembled, set up, and then it's done.